Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I will be doing a requested video. Uh, this video is requested by Raphael Games BR, and uh, this is how to improve FPS in X Plane 11. So, personally, I actually have really good FPS, around 50 FPS. So I won't really be going into the simulator. But well, I have seen improvements with these when I did have a bit of an older system. And uh, this is just going to be a pretty quick video. It's not going to be long. I will uh, uh, explain how you can improve your FPS. And um, let's just jump in. So the first thing we want to do is in NVIDIA. I usually uh, go into the control panel. And I usually set some stuff up here first. So first you want to find your program. And if it's not there, you can just add it. Um... Other than that, I'm just going to set some of these stuff for Microsoft Flight Simulator really quickly. It's actually changed something. But moving on, I'm just going to add a program. So, I didn't find it, so I'll just add X-Plane by adding the selected program. So, coming here, now this, these are the default settings. I haven't changed anything. Which just proves that it does run really well. So what you could do is you could change this to prefer maximum performance, that is the power management mode. Um, and the texture filtering quality you can also set that to high performance and then you can apply and that should improve your FPS by around 2 to 3 I have seen a bit higher improvements but that's so far what is for now and just hit apply and it should work and so here is our second thing we can do um, there are add-ons which you can find at the xplane.org community website and these do improve your fps here is one that i haven't used it's um i don't know if it's new it is a bit new but ever since my uh, pc runs well i did not need this this should improve your fps by uh you know um uh using a lua script and so there's four versions of this so there's this first version which gives you a nice one, but it doesn't um, it don't, doesn't improve your FPS that much. But um, this this will give you a F FPS boost. But adding shadows, uh, this will sl uh, have slight changes to the scenery, and it will also improve your FPS by a lot. And I've seen it happen. And you can also watch this video right here if you go to this website. Uh, and I have some other things. It's also this FPS boost. This one I've had, it's actually been pretty good. It's improved my FPS by a solid 10 when I did have my older system before I got my 1660 Ti. And the last thing I was also this, the 3J FPS wizard. I've seen no difference. This was really good. I haven't seen any difference in um, what scenery looked like, but it has improved my FPS from maybe 21 to 30-ish. Uh, so that was uh, really good. I would highly recommend the uh, 3J FPS and the FPS boost. Um, but I would say that either the FPS boost or the uh, 3J FPS, I believe they do have the exact same uh, results. Whichever one works for you the best. Um, but I would try them uh, and uh, check which one works for you the best. So here is the next thing you can do in X-Plane coming here into the settings I do have this disabled but you can use the Vulcan driver for the faster rendering I don't have it because some of my add-ons don't really work with it and at some points I'm too lazy to do it but since I've mostly switched to Microsoft I don't really I didn't really change anything um, other than that that's all, uh, all I have it's it doesn't take that much to improve your FPS and if none of this works it might be something with your PC and if anything, what you could do is you could try to um, use any other add-ons that I might have not um, talked about in this video. Or you might need a newer graphics card or something that would support Vulkan or um, would run it better. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope everything helps. And um, I hope to see you in the next video and have a good day.